With .NET 6, we can now define global using statements. Let's see how it works. Here we've got a, a very basic console application and um, that was used for our or defaults demo previously and you'll see in the program.cs we've got a few using statements these aren't being used this is just what comes out of the box look at the student ones there are a few unused ones as well and a few common ones that we tend to use with all our different classes now what's pretty cool is you can now create global usings how this works is you can create a, a new class and put some global using statements in there Currently, there's no limitation on what the class needs to be called. So we'll just create a class and call it global using statements, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one of the classes and here are some generic ones and I'll just put them in here. And all we have to do is pop the word local in front, global. And you'll see now that this is, uh, it's not happy with it. So what we can do is just have a look and you'll see that we need to set the language feature to preview. So we can use IntelliSense to do that for us. Or we can actually just go directly into the CSProj and add the language version feature to preview. So since it's, it's still in preview, that's why we needed to explicitly define it there. Now what we can do is we go over here and you'll see the IntelliSense is saying that there are unused statements. So we can remove those, we can remove these. And um, in the students, we, in the all defaults as well. That's it. Easy as that. Now we're not limited to just the system ones. We could define our own ones, for instance, or our ones within the project. So maybe a use case could be if you've got some extension methods that you're using over and over, and that, that could be a nice um, use case to put in there in the global using statements. That way we don't have to define the namespace on every class we want to use our extension method for. And also I would say it, it probably isn't a wise thing to just put too many in there, because once again, if you have all the namespaces that you're using throughout your project, you're inevitably going to get to your classes where there's going to be ambiguous references as if you put all your usings in the same class you have the same problem there and you're going to have to explicitly define it within the class what do you mean when you say file do you mean the graph file or do you mean a system io file what file are we referencing now and once you start doing that you're not really keeping your code clean anymore uh, you may as well just drop the usings in there again to keep it cleaner